My name is uh, Dr. Murenga Mwimali. I am the team leader for the Water Efficient Maize for Africa project in Kenya. I work as a maize breeder and I am based at the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organiz uh, Organization at Katumani. Gilbert Bor. Uh, I am a farmer from Kapserate in Masingishu County. I'm also a lecturer at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. I have come here to witness the planting of the second round of the BT maize hybrids, which uh, is expected to eventually produce seeds, which uh, I, as a farmer, can use to improve, to improve production in my farm and hopefully other farmers in Kenya will take up uh, the technology once the government uh, releases uh, biotech uh, maize to be planted by farmers. This is without gene and sister plants that we are comparing these test materials with what is commercially available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this one is like a relative of, they are all most comparable with those that are in the market uh -huh. because they don't have genes yeah. that are being tested here. Mm -hmm. So they are, if, if, if the insects attack, they will attack? They, when they attack, we expect that they will attack this one equally as, as the, the commercial one. ones. And this one should be able to now stand out yeah. and give us the story. Uh -huh. Because this maize will grow, the leaves will damage in different levels. Yeah. And then we'll come here, we'll collect data, we'll harvest. Because I'm going to be, we'll bring you here again. Okay, at the harvest time. Not even that, it's just the leaf stage. You'll, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. you'll see that, that you'll find less damage on the ones that had the gym. Mm -hmm. You find a lot of damage in the ones that have not no no cheese. Cheese. Yeah. And at harvest, you place the ears here, yeah. you see that you have a lot of good, clean ears, yeah. big ones, yeah. none damaged compared to small, shriveled, damaged ears yeah. on the, 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 the non-gene, the, non the, the one that has no gene. Mm -hmm. And this is, you'll see. Yeah. And remember, we are treating these materials equally. equally. All the treatments are equal. equal. Same soil. Fertilizer, same. the planting. Same uh, timing. Yes. The amount of rain. Yes, it's same. just random and everything has equal chance. Uh -huh. So, so we can't say that uh, the differences is because this one was on the lower side or this one on the upper side. No. Because you have mixed them. They are equal chance, you know. Yeah. yeah. They have. Uh, they will, will they be Chemical no, no, no. We, we don't want to do chemical spraying because we are going to do in what we call artificial inoculation. Mm -hmm. We will introduce insects, larvae, uh -huh. in each plant, about 10 of them. Uh -huh. At 21 days after planting, we are going to introduce insects here. In the wall of the maize, we place the insects in there. Then they will start damaging the plant. Those plants that have no gene, the insects will succumb to death and will leave the plant growing. Uh -huh. Those insects that are placed in a plant that has no genes for protection, Which they will survive, survive and they will continue eating the plant. Uh -huh. And that's what we are trying to look at. To show what happens. What happens there. in the natural yeah. environment. Yeah. Mm. So the weeding will be by hand. Yeah, heat weeding is by hand and we don't want to introduce what you call external factors that can change the experimental... Yeah. We don't want to introduce external factors. This we just, is exactly a laboratory. Yeah. It should just remain as, 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 it, as it was set to, to, to... Now why have we skipped this? This side, we have, uh, it's not like we have skipped. We are going to plant what we, the border crop. This one is protect our experiment. You see the sides, all yeah. sides we have. Uh, so in case there is a, an attack, 
yeah. wind or something. This uh, is what uh, wind so that it stands out here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a net plot. That, so that is, that's the only artificial thing. The, by, by having those protecting them. Yes, well, that's the only thing. We introduced it. That is it's part of an experiment. We expect uh, all scientists do, I mean, crop scientists, most of us do border cropping because that helps in cushioning the net experiment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Against uh, external damage, uh, an animal could come and attack. Yeah. So and start eating the leaf. By the time the someone must have rescued that, it's not just unique to this one, but we do it even in other experiments for all crops. So where was this developed? This we have developed uh, within. I mean, in, in Kenya. This has been developed with us uh, together with our uh, team down here in Kenya. Yes, yes, yes. My name is Anani Bus, entomologist at CIMIT. I is a public-private partnership project, and CIMIT as a wide, wide leading research on maize and wheat is a partner on it, and our main goal is to backstop all activities and our standard, yeah. other technical, mm -hmm. technical and uh, and also to see if all the partners are paying where well they are host. Today we are witnessing the second CFT in Kitai, while in Kiboko we have done several. Of them. We have already tested the single event, what we call Mon A10. We tested it in several CFTs in Kiboko, and the results were very conducive. And also, we tested also the Mon 87460, which is drug tolerant maize, and also give us a good result.